Okay, so I want to talk about Pokemon's Legend ZA. Uh, I just want to talk about what I think it's going to be about, and then, well, apparently Megas are returning, so what new Megas there should be or something? I don't know, really. Anyway, um, if we're talking about Legend ZA, uh, first thing we have to talk about is, yeah, this guy. So, I don't know, like, the whole story, but what I know of it is... This guy is kind of like the whole reasons why the Mega Stones exist. So apparently his um, Floet was dying or something. Special Floet uh, for some reason. And well, yeah, he built like the Soul Harvester or something like that. And apparently there was some war between Kalos and another region. Yeah, a lot. Well, there's one theory that it could be between Kalos and Paldea. So, something about that. Alright, so we've got Terrapagos or something like that. Uh, the Time Turtle. So, one thing I think is... Well, one cool thing they could do... Is... Yeah, they could start with, like, the, um... Characters from X and Y. Or... The characters from, like, Scarlet and Violet. And Time Turtle could take us back... To, like, the thing... Before, like, the Great Crater, because there's a theory that the, um, Soul Harvester, uh, blew a hole in Paldea, and that's the Great Crater or something, I don't know. So we go help, like, AZ or something like that, and then we find out he's trying to blow a hole in Paldea or something like that, so try and stop him or something like that. Or we could, like throw Terrapagus in the machine or something like that and blow it into the crater to complete like the paradox or something. I don't know really. Uh, the other thing was ZA. Alright, so we've got Zygar. Uh, basically we've got 98 cells, 2 cores, and yeah, this is what the cores can make. 10%, 50%, and 100%. Where's the thing that I wanted to show you? Um, with the two cores, there's like the red core and the blue core or something like that. And, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's when they're all combined or something. But let me just bring up this. We've got a shiny version as well. So... <laughs> it is probably not going to be. But, what if... In Legend ZA... 200% Psycho. Because we got, like, the shiny one, right? And also, like, the normal versions. Probably not a thing, but oh well. Uh, let's get into, like, the actual stuff now. Okay, here's, like, the gym leaders of X and Y or something like that. And one thing about it is, Karina, uh, you have your Lucario versus, well, Mega Lucario versus Mega Lucario fight. Like, here. And... Let's say after that, every single gym leader after her should have a Mega. Okay, so I've got Ramos here. In Grass, it's not the best, okay. These are the Megas from like X and Y, which, <laughs> yeah, Grass isn't looking good. Uh, you got Venusaur and then a <laughs> Um Yeah, so basically you've got more forms of Charizard then Grass Megas. <laughs> That's not that great, is it? <laughs> then we've got the ones from Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, which they only add Sceptile, so... Yeah, probably not the best to do that either. Weirdly, Diancy is added in this game. So, that is weird. That you got Mega Diancy in that game and not, like, X and Y, but oh well. So let's look at the Gen 6 Pokemon. Because none of the Gen 6 Pokemon got Megas, besides from Diancy. And, uh, the grass range is not that good. So, besides some Chestnaut, uh, which I don't really want to give a starter to, like, a gym leader. Um, yeah, your options are go go and Trevent and Gorgeist. I mean, the guy's already got a go go right? <laughs> so, sure, make a go go uh, Next, we've got Clement. And, well, the, uh, electric types aren't that great either. Uh, Ampharos, <laughs> or Minetric, uh, probably not, you know. 
Got electric ones in here. Interesting, but oh well. And literally the only two electric uh, Pokemon in Gen 6, well the new ones, is Dedene and Heliolisk. <laughs> you know what, stuff it. Sun God Heliolisk. <laughs> okay, next we got Valerie. Now, I would want to give her a Mega Sylveon, but if you're giving Sylveon a Mega, that would be a thing that all the evolutions deserve a Mega. Marvile does have a Mega, but I don't think I'd want to give her a Mega Marvile. For introducing the Fairy type, the Fairy types in Gen 6 is minimal. Well, we've got Aromatisse, Slurpuff, which I thought was like Gen 5, but whatever. Sylveon, Carbink. Diancy, so Mega Clef Key, why not? It's a pretty cool Pokemon, so sure. Aromatisse and Slurpuff are like polar opposites or something, so if you gave one a Mega, you'd probably have to give the other a Mega or something, so Clef Key is easiest, maybe, I don't know. Uh, next we got Psychic, and none of these Pokemon get Megas. Uh, any of these even Gen 6? Meowstic maybe? But that's like a gender thing, so probably not. Uh, psychic things. Uh, definitely not a Mewtwo. Gardevoir is safe later. Metachamp? Probably not. You know? Uh, Latios is no. Uh, Glade? No. Okay. I mean, Malamar? Maybe? What else is options? Basically just Malamar. <laughs> I mean, I must have forgot, like, Florges or something like that, but, like, really, give, like, AZ a Mega Floette, because why not, right? I mean, his Floette is, like, a special one or something, and that stuff, it'll get up the page. I couldn't find a good thing or something like that, but I'm pretty sure it's got, like, better stats than a normal Floette or something, and it's got, like, a special move, but no clue. Uh, next we got Wolfric. Um, I mean, you could give him Mega Avalog. But uh, he's already been shown to have a Mega Obama Stone. And yeah, it's in like the X and Y thing, so yeah, I don't think we'll have to. No wonder they gave him like a Mega Obama Stone. The only options are Avalog and a Fossil. So with Wickstrom, we've already used Clef Key. Um, I mean, Mega Sizzle is a thing in like X and Y, so yeah, I think it's been shown to have one before, so. Not much I can do about that. And I mean, besides from Clef Key, your only option is Aegislash, so... Yeah, well... Uh, next we've got Melva. Uh, sure, whatever. Only Gen 6 Pokemon on our team is Pyroar and Talonflame. Uh, probably wouldn't do Pyroar because of the gender difference or something. Talonflame? Well... Mega Pidgeot is a thing, so... Maybe. Houndoom? I don't know really. But, but besides than that... <sighs> wow, there's minimal fire types here. Houndoom is probably the best option if you don't want to go Talonflame. Uh, next we've got Drasna or something like that. Um, yeah, she's actually got quite a few Gen 6 Pokemon. Draugi, Noivern. But she's been shown with like a um, Mega Altaria. So... Yeah, I guess. Huh, okay. Uh, Atari was added in Omega Alpha Sapphire. But weird thing about this is Swablu is like a normal flying ride. And Altari is like a dragon flying. So, it's clearly like a flying type Pokemon. Because it loses the normal type, right? Mega Altari is dragon fairy. <laughs> it loses... Like, two types. Normal and flying. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, last one is Seabold. Oh, I don't know, really. Uh, I don't really want to give him a Mega Gyarados, because that's like, um, yeah, the team Mega, so probably not. Um, sure, Cluentia. I am actually surprised that it's a Gen, like, 6 Pokemon. Yeah, well. Uh, not sure about Barbanical, but, yeah, well. And for water being one of the most common types, yeah, there's not that many options because Swell uh, loses its uh, water type. 
So it is just these two. Now, like, here's the thing. I think Diane Food's great. Uh, the only problem is, well, uh, this Pokemon's in the third gym, and these two Pokemon are in, like, the second gym. Besides from that, she's got a Mega Gardevoir, and, yeah, can't really take that away from her. Okay, next I want to give Megas to, like, the Generation 6 starters. Okay, so, with Chestnut, what I want to do with him... Because, well, I thought this Pokemon was this type of ready. Is with Mega Chestnut, Grass Steel. And it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, well, this is going to be interesting, but we will see how it goes. Okay. Now, oh, well, no. Okay, we do that. We do that. And we do that as well. That's right, he's got a metal shell now, or something, I don't know. Really could have designed that better, but... It's, I don't know. Okay, um... Yeah, so currently his time chart looks like that. Uh, four times weak to fire, and two times weak to fighting. I actually want to do something with this. So, what I want to do is... Now stuff that I'll do, do it like the hard way or something. Um, yeah, so I want to make it immune to fire, right? Yeah. And... Weak to bug. Yeah. So its ability would be like slightly roasted or something. Um, kind of like a play on dodge bun. Yeah, uh, it is immune to fire. But... Yeah, who wouldn't want, or what bug wouldn't want, like, a roasted plant or something? I don't know. And give it, like, a special defense buff or something. I should probably write this in text. Um, is it double M? Uh, who knows. <laughs> Yeah, that, I don't know. Uh, next we have Delphox. I want to make it Fire Fairy. Now, Fire Fairy doesn't exist as a type yet, but if it did, its thing would look like that or something, I don't know. Yeah, I tried to make it or something like that, but, yeah, well. And if we're making a fairy, we're going to have to change a few things. First of all, uh, these mage hair things go or something, I don't know. And next, cut like that off or something, I don't know. Get like a pinkish or something like that and spray can. Spray can on a um, thing or something like that. So now it's kind of like a genie or something. We'll give the ability Misty Surge or something like that, and because it's like a genie or something, uh, we will also make it immune to um, ground, because, yeah, it's obviously not on the ground, is it? Next, we look at Mega Swampert. And as you can see, despite these big arms, it is a ground type and not a fighting type. So what we're going to do... Oh, great. What we are going to do... Is my Grand Ninja a water fighting? And luckily, I've got some thing already. Um, yeah. So as you can see, uh, currently, uh, Grand Ninja is weak to Grass and Fairy, the two other Pokemon. As it's like a Legends, no, oh, yeah, Wood Manor, I guess. But this is sort of a problem. And one thing I could do to fix it. It's, yeah, I think it's fair to give it huge power. <laughs> um, yeah, it could be interesting, I guess, but yeah, it works, right? I mean, these two have already got, like, immunities or something like that to them. So, sure, why not? Give it huge power. I mean, they gave it to Marwal, and Mega Marwal actually has a decent attack. <laughs> so, yeah, these are, like, the Gen... Six 
starter megas or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is like regional forms for like Pokemon or something like that. Um, and something I thought was kind of cool is maybe giving them each like a four times weakness. Now, I was thinking like grass ice to start with. But the problem is, well, that doesn't exactly work out pretty well, something like that. Because, yeah, ice is pretty good, but water and fire both resisted, so not the best, right. Uh, next thing I was thinking about, um, I mean, you could do a couple of others. Dragon, definitely not, because, yeah, it resists basically everything, so it wouldn't be... It is funny that grass has, like, four, like, water weaknesses. Yeah, I didn't want to do grass steel because I already did that for a starter. So what I decided to do was um grass ground, which actually works out pretty well. Uh next with water, uh obviously can't do ground, probably shouldn't do rock right, um so flying. Yeah. Water yeah, they sometimes get like ice type moves, so it's whatever, right? And then with fire, um, electric, it's four times the ground, so sure. Plus electric's good against flying, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Let's see if I can find the Pokemon that I want to um, have as the starters. Yeah, I want to do Empoleon, and it's kind of weird that it is a bird, but the closest flying button is this, which, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no clue. I mean, it's really not the best because, yeah, Empoleon would not have the metal stuff, but sure, whatever, I'll take it. Let me just clean it up a little. Like, the best I can do in short notice, um, I can maybe fix it a bit more. Damn it. Best you're getting out of me for now. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, when I think about changing Superior into a ground type, might not be um, like the hardest thing to do. Uh, first thing you do, um, yeah, remove. First thing you've got to do, remove the, these things. Yeah. Um, probably remove this banana bit as well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Now let's just remove these things and yeah, close enough, right? Mm. Yeah, good enough. Mm, stuff it. I don't really know. Okay, um, like here's the thing, a lot of people think it's going to be Empoleon and Superior. Uh, they're not sure about the fire type, but stuff you competitive people. And if we think that Incineral is like a, a fire and dark type, and that's why it's like red and black, it becomes pretty easy to change to an electric type. Yep. One electric incineral coming right up. And you know how I said like stuff you compare to people? You know how normal incineral has like intimidate? Well you know what this incineral special ability is? Well hidden ability. That's right, it's special intimidate. Every time it goes into battle, it lowers your special attack. 
and you better <laughs> and you better believe it knows parting shot on when it evolves yeah I've got no clue um I don't know really yeah so this is a villain from uh, Mario 3D world or something and I reckon he's perfect you know for Mega Golem I don't know what type it would be but going by Carbink um yeah uh we can easily do ground fairy because apparently gems are fairy and well I don't you could do rock fairy but nah ground fairies are new so short that as for these other unused tires we've already used like fire fairy with like del fox or something um normal steel normal rock and normal ice I would not do because of the four times weakness to fighting Normal bug isn't too bad. You swap like a like a fighting resist for like a ghost immunity. So yeah, maybe I don't know. Ice poison, regional form. I don't know. Rock ghost. <laughs> I am actually really surprised that this is not Spiritomb, because it literally is a ghost and a rock. And bug dragon. Yes, I don't know. Okay, can we talk about how Power World managed to put a straight up Gudra into their game? Okay, besides that, um, I want to talk about something else. Yeah, this Bronto Cherry or something. Um, yeah, it's a real shame that Megani will never get a Mega because, yeah, this is Mega Meganium. Yeah, besides from its really poor naming thing or something. But let's talk about other Pokemon that will never get Megas. Probably shouldn't get Megas or something. And that is every Pokemon with Mega in their name. Mega Meganium. Not gonna happen. Yeah, Mega. Um, probably not. Uh, next we've got the Pokemon ending with I-T-E. Um, it's just because the stones are all Ites or something like that. So, if you've... If your Mega Stone is the same name as the Pokemon, it's probably not going to be a Mega Ride. Good thing for Magnemite, it's not the um, highest thing. Uh, Dragonite, that would literally be the um, uh, Mega Stone thing. Yeah, a real shame for uh, Dragon as well. That's probably not getting a Mega because of Dragonite. Uh, Metatite. <laughs> Uh, good thing that thing evolves, and that got a Mega. Uh, Gabite, another one which evolved and was able to get a Mega. Pignite, it's not the final evolution, so Ember could get a Mega sometime. Uh, go for Tell, it's right in the middle, so that probably doesn't matter. Vanillite, um, you've got a double scoop here, so yeah, that could get a Mega. A really cool Mega as well. Uh, the last one is Bergmite, which can evolve, so it doesn't matter. When I was talking about Drugan or something, I meant like this one. Uh, I don't know, it's probably not getting Mega. Yeah, because of Dragonite. It's too close a name or something, I don't know. We're on Bayonetta Knight. <laughs> that was really close to not getting Mega, obviously. Manecta Knight? Maybe? That was close as well, but I don't know. Womp in the night. <laughs> Obviously, they don't really care about those things, but oh well. Steel Elixir Light is <laughs> very interesting, but oh well. And then, of course, we've got the Eevee Mega Stone. The Eevee Light. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I think I'm done messing around with this, so... Yeah, I think... Oh well.